You tried to identify, Mr. Osman, the major biblical characters like Moses and Jesus from the historical sources. What does this mean to us today? This is a very good question because uh, it has to reflect on our future spiritual uh, knowledge. Uh, in, uh, from 16th, 17th century, I mean uh, AD, with the Renaissance, the Europeans started to get back knowledge of the ancient history of religion and history of mankind because for 1,000 years the Church of Rome, uh, I mean forbidding all this knowledge after the burning of Alexander Library. Nobody knew, uh, only all the knowledge came from the Bible and from literature, no historical or scientific knowledge was available. And when this came after the uh, Florence uh, translation of, of the ancient books, uh, Europeans started to learn history, ancient history, the roots, the historical roots of our civilization before uh, the Christian church. Uh, 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 accordingly, what happened is uh, the, uh, the, 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 the state was separated from the church, uh, and uh, and this already, although it helped a lot in, um, I mean, reviving modern uh, kind of scientific uh, and objective uh, knowledge of, of the of the nature of life and so on. But it uh, made a, another back kind of, of, uh, of situation because, you see, humans, all of us, need this uh, intellectual, spiritual kind of, of understanding. And the church, uh, when I talk about the church, I talk the, about the, uh, uh, I mean, religious establishment, whether it's a Christian, Jewish, or Islamic. I mean, if you uh, take away uh, Eastern uh, Asia, Southeastern Asia, the, the, all the major countries in the world are either uh, Islamic or Christian or Jewish. So the, the Bible, I mean, in general terms, the biblical sources are the, the source for the three religions together. So, I mean, this three religions have become some kind of dogmatic uh, 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 understanding of the world. You just have to ad ad uh, confess something and do something. And as a result, uh, the spirituality of, of, of the religion was lost. It becomes just, and that's why we see now, I mean, people fighting for the, uh, against uh, religion, against religion. Yeah. And it turned out to be, uh, if you have to kill other people uh, and so on uh, for salvation. I mean, uh, humans, modern mankind, have lost the spirituality, the understanding of the spirit. So we need again now, through historical knowledge of our past, I mean, we, ha we need to go t yet away uh, further back and, uh, and get to our spiritual roots in ancient time, you see. So uh, the Bible, although it is a mythological uh, account, a historical story, but it, 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 the core of the biblical stories are really historical. And by identifying the history, we can understand what it meant, what all these people meant. So I believe that Moses, Jesus, and even Hiram Abif, uh, lived contemporary at the same time at the, at the mid of the 18th dynasty in Egypt. All what happened, all the source of the whole biblical teaching, Jewish, Christian, and Islamic, comes from the mid uh, 18th century of Egypt. When, because you see, as although Egyptians have had already identified uh, uh, humans have been having a spiritual dimension and they think at the time of death that uh, uh, some kind of power leaves, the, departs from the physical body and they 
uh, made a symbol for that as a bird flying on the top of, of the of the body. Uh, I mean, they that was the situation for a long time, and that's why uh, I mean only uh, rich people, uh, kings, and so on could save the body by mummification and burying in tombs and pyramids in order to allow <coughs> this uh, spiritual uh, entity which left the body maybe they were hoping that it would come back uh, to the body and resurrect it and this uh, went on for a long time uh, the difference between our religion understanding now and, and before is now we think that a prophet came from uh, by, by message from God and this prophet has to teach people how to realize the uh, spiritual uh, power and so on. Uh, in the ancient times it was a different attitude. Ordinary people, not so ordinary people, I mean the priests and educated and, and cultured people, used to think. They were looking to know. They were trying to understand behind this world, the physical world, what is the power? Why are we here? Why? What is the end of our life? Is it is that the, the end of the life or, or is it uh, uh, that we can survive after? I mean, they were trying to understand the world. I mean, they had no preconception. They, they tried to look at the stars, to look at the creatures, even animals and, and, and plants were part of their uh, spiritual background so th they were rich in the kind of trying to understand and be b part of the universe and try to know they would not have a message already delivered and they have to follow they were trying to know what it is where is the power what is the origin and so they can change with time according to the uh, discoveries and understanding of the world movement of stars and different things. But uh, Mr. Rosman, you mentioned that Jesus and uh, Hiram Abib lived at the same time. Could you explain to us this yeah. more? Yeah, I will explain to and you. What age was Jesus? Uh, um, how old was Jesus? How old was Hiram Abib? How they were at the same time? What is the proof? Okay, the, the, you see the thing is, before I come to Jesus uh, uh, and, and Hiram uh, Abib uh, or, or or uh, uh, Hermes Trismegistus, because I identify Hermes Trismegistus and Hiram Abif as one and the same person. Uh, 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 what I have to start first with Moses, you see. I mean, in the mid of, of the 14th century BC, Akhenaten confessed, were able to confess this is a, a complete different understanding for the first time in the universe. Somebody come to say, our world has a spiritual dimension. This is the first time that the, the spirit is one. The universe, there is a universal spirit. This is, uh, was a completely new thing. That's why nobody understood it. And that's why uh, he was rejected by his own people. Because they couldn't understand what it means. Uh, this unseen power uh, 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 and so on. But I, because as I told you before, that I identify Jesus of the New Testament as the same character as Joshua of the Old Testament. Jesus and Joshua. Joshua is the, is the Hebrew word for the Greek word Yosos, uh, or the Jesus in English. Joshua and Jesus, the name is the same. And Joshua, the son of Nun, is the son of the fish. No father is the And I, I, I have, I, as I told you before, identified Jesus was the historical Tutankhamun who was born as Tut Ankhaton, the living image of Adonai. You see, the living, the, this is the name uh, he got at his birth and he changed that into the living image of the hidden God. The hidden one is Amun. Amun means the hidden one. So, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the, the second step was taken by Tutankhamun really without a message. He, he, it, it is his li life and death, there is no message. The message beca came later when people tried to understand the meaning of his life and death. What he came to do, I mean he was young, uh, nine years old when Akhenaten was deposed, exposed, to, to, went to exile, and he has to live that 
the, all the temples were closed. People could not reach any kind of spiritual salvation. And he realized that. So he reopened the temple, although he still kept the one God, Aton, Adonai, he was still keeping the one God there. So in this case, by this doing that, he realized that ordinary people could not reach the spiritual power on their individual case. They need some kind of, of a, a, a mediator, you see. And he allowed the temples to be, uh, so the people can go to the temples uh, as, uh, and the deities became mediators between, between humans and, and, and God because the people cannot reach directly. Now, he, he was killed because of that. He, they thought that he was went back uh, uh, on the re one really God of his father. But I don't think he did. In fact, he kept it all the time, but he, he identified that all the people cannot reach that power. Now, Akhenat Tutankhamun was one year old, was just born when Amunhotep, son of Habu, whom I the, the, the architect who built the temple of Amenhotep III, which I identified as, uh, as uh, 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 King Solomon, uh, uh, King of Peace, uh, Amenhotep, son of Habu, was, uh, died uh, uh, at the same uh, when Tutankhamun was one year old. But because Amenhotep, the son of Habu, had his, his, his statue by, I mean, by King uh, Amenhotep III, he put the statue of Amenhotep, son of Habu, the, the architect, inside the Karnak for the first time to re, to re, to, 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 uh, for a human being after his death to become a kind of a, a mediator between people and, and the God. I mean, when people went to the Karnak, they went to, to the, the son of Habu and asked him, uh, to, uh, to, I mean, to mediate. And uh, later on, after the death of Tutankhamun, they asked him to help them even to cure their. their I mean, they became, uh, 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 I mean, master of magic uh, uh, and 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 and, and uh, uh, I mean, power of treating uh, the sick. Uh, and uh, he was. Uh, he. They said. Uh, they. Uh, it was believed that he acquired the secret knowledge of the god Tehut, which is uh, Hermes in, in, in Greek. Uh, so he, he became identified really as Hermes Trismegistus, which we knew uh, recently w with the discovery of, of, the, of the Hermes uh, Hermetica in, in, in uh, I mean, uh, translated in, in in Florence, in Italy, uh, which led to the whole uh, scientific uh, revolution. So, uh, it, it, you see, b because the cult of, of Hermes, because the cult of Hermes carried on, I mean, this is a human being who became identified as a saint during his life, later on to be identified as a, as a deity, as a god himself, uh, it lasted for about 1500 years, his message, his cult, he had his followers. And within his cult, you see, this understanding of the relationship of the, spirit, the individual spirit of humans and the universal spirit uh, that Akhenaton uh, spoke about. Th there was no connection before. I mean, the thought, unless people is, are mummified, uh, not a person mummified, his spirit is lost and he is, but, but now they started to link the individual uh, spirit with the universal spirit. And they thought that if one goes through some kind of rituals, including baptism and so on, and this went through the cult of Isis as well, that uh, once you can, s what, what does it mean? Has anybody seen risen Christ? Really not. St. Paul himself, who spread, uh, I mean, sp spread the, the, the gospel uh, of Jesus, never uh, saw Jesus uh, 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 as a living creature. He saw he was a, a spiritual confrontation. I mean, nobody, however, 
if you can, I mean, this is a com kind of uh, something you cannot see with, with the eye. If you can uh, accept, if you can accept that a dead person, somebody who has been killed, has risen from the dead, it is there and then that your third eye has been opened and that you have realized that within you as a human person you have the spirit and the spirit individual spirit there and then becomes part of the universe there is no death after that once you come to that you are eternal because it's only movement the, the, the body uh, 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 disappears and the spirit returns to, to, to the home to the great universal spirit and this is this is really I mean this story came before the first ch church was born this is I mean field of Alexandria speak about therapeutic this I mean the cult the cult of uh, of, of uh, Hiram Abif I mean who I, I as her mistress the, the 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 healers of Alexandria I mean they are spread this uh, knowledge uh, before the uh, first gospel appeared and within them started what we know as the Gnostic uh, movement the Gnostic movement which uh, uh, I mean we have uh, the t uh, I mean all these gospels uh, in, in Coptic uh, uh, gospels discovered like Hamadi and then it is within this that they re they use the, the birth and the death of Joshua to Tenkamun as a symbol for resurrection and this is how Christianity was born and that's why I mean in the early start of the Christian era Christianity represented joy it was salvation the Church of Rome said that Jesus died to save the sinners people who kill and, and commit uh, adultery and suicide and, and uh, other, uh, kill other people. I mean, uh, would Jesus, the Son of God, uh, die to save these people who are carrying on doing it all the time? Now, the salvation, in my understanding, what salvation is, that uh, he came to make people, b by his death and resurrection, to make people realize that they, they you are the children of my Father. You make uh, people realize that within them, the, is a spirit that will never die. That's why it was joy. Christian, star, it was millions of people joined straight away. All pe people, poor people, all the people who had no chance for to be mummified and buried in a, in a, in a tomb, uh, I mean protected tomb, suddenly felt they are, they have gained. This is salvation. And this is the real uh, core uh, of the uh, uh, of the Christian understanding, I mean the rising from the dead. We have the spirit within us, and we are eternal. Just when we can understand, if you can come to accept that, then you have opened the mind, inside and outside, and you you have gained eternal life. And this is the, the really what is the church. Uh, uh, of Christian church have lost and uh, all the other um, biblical religions ha have lost there is no spiritual understanding there is no spiritual uh, all dogma and all killing and all I mean uh, this is why this is why by re realizing our ancient roots of, of our spirit I mean religions we can we can go back to reopen our mind and understanding of the joy of the salvation of our inner soul and spiritual dimension which is universal we have to love each other we have to live and hope for future we all connected to the same source yeah uh, mr Suleiman, going back to king Suleiman, just uh, the last question please uh, why a uh, king Suleiman was called king Suleiman, and who called him king Solomon? you see uh, uh, all the score of the biblical story comes from the 18th Egyptian dynasty, the 18th dynasty of Egypt. Because you see, Solomon is the son of David, and David is the one who established the empire between the Euphrates uh, in northern Syria and the Nile in Egypt. And the only historical 
record of somebody who established this is somebody called Tutmos the Third. Tutmos the Third. Tut is dude. Dude is David. You see in Hebrew. Tut is is David. Tutmos the Third is is the, the 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 original historical character who established. The, I mean, and he was he was rather than Abraham the father of Isaac because he, it was he who married Sarah when she came with Abraham to Egypt according to the story of Genesis. He married, he was the, 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 the he had two branches. One branch of, of descendants went through the biblical uh, character of Sarah and this lived, they lived in the beginning, uh, they went back uh, the, uh, in Canaan. And the other uh, branch was born in Egypt. Uh, you see, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Hotel the fourth, and uh, and uh, uh, Tutmosis the fourth, and then the Hot, Tut, I mean, Hotel the third. Uh, oh, I mean, and then uh, and then the, the descendant, when the descendant of of the Sarah, uh, I mean, the third descendant, which is Jacob, came to Egypt, it he was identified by he, the descendant, the other descendant of the same king, I mean, Tutmosis the third. Which is, I mean, hot. so they were cousins, really, and that's why maybe uh, he, he knew about that. Otherwise, I mean, Hotel said would not have married the daughter of Yuya, uh, Joseph, of the Bible. So he united the 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 the, 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 the Tutmosis family. So I think, I mean, Hotel said the the only king he lived in peace. Uh, I mean, peace is no salam, shalom. Peace. That's why the city was called. Uh, 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 Qadish before the city was called Qadish before uh, I mean Hotel said I mean, after I mean, Hotel said became known as Urushalayim Urushalayim Urushalay. means the, the city Ur is the city of peace and and uh, after him because he's Shalom because in his time after uh, his empire was established by David Tutmosis the third. He didn't need to go to war again. He married, he intermarried. If you go to a story in the Bible, I mean, uh, the Solomon had a large harem, more than 300 women. Yes. I mean, Hotel said had the same situation. I mean, uh, all the, what you know about Solomon from the Bible, we can find I mean, about I mean, Hotel said in history. All what we know about David, not all what we know, because the story of, of Samuel. Book of Samuel about David have have two characters really. One is a small tribal leader who has six hundred followers and who moved from one place to the other. He was kicked away by, by his own son from Jerusalem. And the other one is a mighty king with a, a, a hundred a thousand chariots and he established an empire. And the empire story of David from the Bible is the very very same. Sorry, in all its details of the wars of Tutmosis III, yes. who fought at the at the, the the main battle that the uh, made Tutmosis III, King David of history, in the is called Majido. Ah. The story Majido. This is in northern Israel now, a city called Majido, and they they now. I mean, the expected Messiah to come will come. In uh, fr fr from Magid Magido, the, uh, the battle, of m the final battle between God and good and evil, will be uh, uh, Magido, which is the s same city. I mean, when Moses the third fought three hundred. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Palestine at the same time. Every city used to be a state. You see, so. Uh, 300 princes gathered to fight him and he 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 was victorious against that and the, until now the belief is when Je jesus the christ comes back he has to fight the same battle of Majidu, which is a major battle in the history of total that moses said between good and evil mm -hmm. so here i need uh, i have to remind uh, some people who uh, who didn't hear the last part to understand our part uh, now, I, uh, I advise them to go back and uh, listen to our uh, previous part. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Osman. Thank you and ha Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.